like how the uh, how the save files actually work. Like, so there should be um, this one. This is the one the game is creating itself. Like, point of no return. System save. So, yeah. Um, so far, the new expansion is cool. I like the DLC. Like, it's a, it's an interesting story. They have new items there. Um, lots of new dialogues. We haven't, we haven't seen any new enemies yet. Uh, we, j we just did some side story and some exploring. I love the view. I really do. So pretty. Um, we, we, we are still trying to figure out what the heck is actually going on here. Which we haven't figured out yet. Um, they definitely increased the level cap. They increased the skill cap so instead of 100 the skill cap is now 150 150 <laughs> and yeah you can all level up uh, we have to eat something my character needs food every so often unfortunately there we go i just feel my step under the radar with everything else coming out um I mean, it's a DLC. It's not an expansion. I don't even know. Like this is this is like how big the map is. Like that's it. Um, there's a lot of layers to it. So on first glance, this looks kind of small. But there are a lot of like layers to it and height. Lots of height, as you can see right here. Like they they love to work with that. Um, it's a DLC. Like again, this is this is. If the main game didn't win you over, oh, this one won't. But if you love the main game, our new toy, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Get him, girl. Man, I really have to. Nice. Such a beautiful game. It is. Like, the word design is great. I love this new toy. Yeah. It's a very, very pretty game. Whoa. Why do we have some lags here and there? I definitely noticed that yesterday. That, unfortunately, I have some... Um, some chunks just... Not doing so well. And I don't know why. I think I had that with the main game as well. They just had some chunks where the game started to lag for no apparent reason. I think I had the same thing with the main game. Which sucks a bit. Alright, let's go let's stay down here and then we can go up here. Ooh, that's acid. That's that's acid right there. That's acid, man. <laughs> so much acid. <laughs> do, do you like acid, chat? Uh, don't go into the acid, man. It makes your body feel all tingly. Oh, what are you? Okay. 
Oh, you were... Oh, you were big. Oh, boy. I might have made a huge mistake here. So, I will not explain what happened here for people who don't want to, who don't really want to know like what the story is, but what I can say so far is we landed on this planet, or well it's not a planet, it's an asteroid, uh, we got hired by a person to find some, some data, and now... Strange things are unfolding on Gorgon. Yeah, the ammo is, um... I mean, I have 4,000 shots. Like, come on, man. Why not using it? You know? Why not using it? Oh, this one is sealed. Okay. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of buildings which are sealed and which seems to be linked to the main story of the game. So whenever you find like a sealed building, chances are very high that you have to do the main story before you can continue on in this area. Yeah. Asset. Let's not walk into that. Uh, ooh. Secret. Pavadi. Honey. Just. I, what did I say earlier? Hmm? What did I say? Don't walk into the acid. What are you doing? You're walking in the acid, says the guy, by the way, who is also walking in the acid, but there is an invisible wall there. They have that sometimes. They have those boxes, and I cannot really reach them because there's like an invisible wall right here. And I don't know why. It's, it's a bit annoying. They have to go over that again. Oh! This place stinks like the wrong end of a primal, and I think I'm close to figuring out why. Something's off of this place. Those ain't normal primals. Thought I was onto something before. Now I'm sure of it. I got a theory to test at that Marauder camp. Who is this voice actor? I'm trying to figure out who that voice actor is. I'm, I'm pretty sure he is like a known. Pretty sure it's a known voice actor who's doing his voice. Is that from Cowboy Bebop? Is that his voice? I. <sighs> I'm really trying to figure that out. Okay, we have to go this area. And then, believe it or not, we are actually done with exploring the whole planet. At least outside. There are, there are tons of areas where we have to go inside. Um, but I think they're also linked to the main story. So... Yeah, apparently in this area I'm getting like a short lag. As if they're loading something in. Interesting. Oh, 
Yo, I remember those things. That's normally how they transport the test subject. Um. Did, did, did you, did you just saw what I saw? Lunch break, man. Like, you have to respect the lunch breaks. Like, even the NPCs are like, No, man, look, it's my lunch break. I'm out. It's Friday, man. <laughs> Ow. Let me just fade out of existence here. Got him. I think this was the first bug. I think we just encountered the first bug of the game. Oh, well, expansion, DLC, you know what I mean, damn it. Yeah, that was odd. <laughs> okay, then. Wait, where is my... Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was totally not weird. Oh, can we go in here? Chem lab. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we have to, we basically have to go to the other areas first. So we have to push the main story. We have to push the main story. Oh, there's something there. Oh, it's one of those things. I hate those things. Boom, headshot. It's not a bad choice, it's not a bad choice. It's Spacer's choice. Yes. I have to say, of all the weapons... Oh damn, we are overcumbered. Oh, don't do that to me. Of all the weapons... Like... I think that is the I win button. Do we have anything good here? Lock pick plus five. I really have to see if I can give uh, Nioka and Pavadi some some armor. Yeah. Melee weapon skills. He barely, she barely uses any melee weapon. Why do I give her that? Oh, because of the high armor. Um, seventy-five, seventy-five. Let's give her. Oh, do we have like a better mask? We're just giving her not just lockpick. Seventy-seven heavy weapon skills minus stuff. It's definitely better. Hell yeah. Now, 89. 
Dango? You get your armor. Um, Range weapon skills, that's cool. And this is just 61 armor. Uh, let me see if we can go... If we can go higher than that. What was that? 61? Let's give her 62. What is her main armor? 68? <sighs> One too short. Should have been 69. Nice. Okay, we have to destroy the rest of the items here, I'm afraid. And let's break down some of the armor. Because we are completely overcumbered. Sucks. It's 20. Doesn't help me though. All right, that should do the trick for now. Let's continue. <laughs> Whose fault is it that you are a kleptomaniac? The game? I mean, the game is just giving me too much loot. Like I've said this yesterday. I think The Outer Worlds is one of the first games, and I can't believe I say this, were they giving you too much loot? Like, it's amazing that is, but... It's too much loot, man. <laughs> Hashtag blame the devs. Ooh. Oh, he's dead. And dead. He's dead. Cool. I win button. But also pretty annoying. Like I would love to remove the um <laughs> to remove the sound effect. But I think they put that there on purpose. Because it's such a strong weapon. And they were just like, hey dude, if we are giving you an I win button, like you just have to deal with it. The Mad Scientist is, like, that was the choice we did with this game, and I have to say, I love it. Like, it's very different from what I expected. Like, it's, it's one of those playstyles where at the beginning, you are clearly on a disadvantage. You are clearly on a disadvantage with Mad Scientist, and just going with, like, science stuff. But then later on, Oh, we can finally sell some items here. Some, um, but later on, like, oh, it, it becomes so powerful. Like, I would definitely say it's one of the most powerful like skills you can get. I'm not saying that the rest isn't. It's just in comparison. It's really, really good.
I'm keeping all the names. I'm selling the rest. Uh, the Oxen. 200 million? What the hell? Termination. Inspiration. Star skin. Diamond skin. Nah. sold so many items especially those like they weighed actually quite a bit i really have to get rid of them but i would have to go back to my ship uh, i need <sighs> let's sell some food here let's sell some drinks i would i would never ever like use them Some health, no chewing gum, don't need that. Oh god, why do I have so much booze? Chad, what did you try to do to me? To give me so much booze. Especially looking at you, Gory. Yeah, <laughs> you wished. You wished, man. It's 7 p.m. somewhere. I take some. Oh, wow, Zoe. First of all, it's Friday. What are you doing here? B, man, if you already need a drink, holy moly. What is going on? How are you doing? Tell me. Tell me more. I mean, we tried Adrena time. Yeah, that was not... Adrena time was not good. That was not good. Hi, Zoe. I'm waiting for repaired people. What are they repairing? If I might ask. Speaking of waiting for repair people, like a buddy of mine, he, um, huh. I wonder if there is like a we have a saying for this in German when when somebody has something going on like he he really draw like a bad outcome for himself my garbage disposal and my dishwasher <laughs> you have a dishwasher cool can I uh, can I move in like apparently I need a dishwasher in my life and well if I cannot have my own. Maybe I'm just moving in with a person who has one, right? <laughs> um, but no, we have we have like a sp special saying here in Germany, and I would just transfer the saying into English, and it will make no sense to you whatsoever. But just so you understand what we are saying when somebody really is unlucky. Uh, we, are saw, we are saying that somebody did draw the ass card. Like somebody did draw the ass card. And you're like, wait, what? The ass card? Yes, yes. Um, let, let me explain what, what we are meaning with that or where this is coming from. Um, so when somebody is really unlucky or is... Like, just did draw the short stick. Right? Is... This is coming from soccer. 
and most of the referees have the red card in well in their shorts right where their ass is and this is where they're drawing the card from so especially like in in combination with soccer you out when he's drawing like the red card you are out so you're just screwed right And that's where the saying is coming here from in uh, in Germany. Short stick, yes. Like you did draw the ass card. So a buddy of mine did draw the ass card, and he has the late shift for this week. Unfortunately. The person who lives above him is apparently renovating and they are starting at 7 a.m. in the morning to renovate. So he has the late shift. He is not awake at 7 a.m. in the morning. Oh, well, shouldn't be. Now he is. And that is going on for the whole week. So, yes, he did draw the ass card. <laughs> yes, he does, Gory. Yes, he does. But yeah, that's that's basically the saying we have. When whenever something bad happens, and you're just screwed, we're saying, "Well, you did draw the ass card." Sorry, I just can't stop, man. I just can't stop. It's like it's like a sickness, man. I have to I have to pick up all this stuff, man. Look at this. Heavy ammo. Oh my god, light ammo. Cup riches. Oh my god, a fragmented mining helmet. Oh my god, I can't stop. Help me, please. Ooh, print new security card. Uh, and the passcode. Passcode? And the passcode. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the passcode. It was worth a shot. Bypass. Uh. <laughs> Oh well, we tried. It sounds to me like it's a you problem, not a game problem. What are you talking about, man? Do you... Do you have some loot, man? I mean, just just a bit of loot. No, no, it doesn't have to be something useful. Just, just give me some junk, man. Just, uh, I need some loot. I didn't have loot for like two minutes. I need more loot, man. Help me. Wow. That was a bit too real. Loot boxes for everyone. Yay! <laughs> uh, I mean, let's, let's be real here. As a human being, which is your only flaw that you love to loot and loot and games, right? If that is your only flaw, I think you are pretty human de uh, being, like a decent human being, for just yeah. Oh my God! So many loot boxes. Look at this. Yeah. It's Mr. Mole. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need all of it. I doesn't care, it's just rubbish. 
That's absolute rubbish. But I need it. <gasps> more. More. Give me more. Yes. Oh no. 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 They're, they're empty. Wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Okay. Just, just, just putting it there. And yet, I can loot it again. Oh my god. It never ends, Chad. I can just loot it again. And now, when I put all the loot there again, like over and over again, I can loot it again. Oh my god, look at this. So much loot. It never ends. <clears throat> I do not know where that came from. But... Uh... Let's just pretend this never happened in the last five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the keycard. Letter from Frieda Weber. Officer Olsen, I'd like to follow up with you regarding yesterday's chat. Now, this could be a whole, whole mess, or this could be something we resolve quickly. To the mutual benefit of both parties. Here's what I'm going to do. I've enclosed a key that unlocks a safe you'll find behind a wall panel in my room in which I most certainly do not store that stockpile of adrenal time some whole head tipped you off about. Maybe some of that supply, which again I must stress that not, does not exist, goes missing from time to time. It happens. There's quite a lot of it. And who's to say I count, I count doses that carefully? I get new deliveries in all the time. My perfectly legal, non-adrenal time related business provides a valuable service to my customers who benefit immensely from a product otherwise tied up in too much legal red tape like testing phase and human safety. Should my operation be permitted to continue as before, I'd ask you that you hold on to the enclosed key for safekeeping. I think that would prevent any further issues between the two of us. Don't you? Damn. That's a um, drug dealer pitch if I've ever seen one. Like, oof. Now we have to find her room. To find the not Adrena time. Oh, we are over here. Wait, I did go over the bridge. Really? Am I that much of a dumbass? Don't answer, chat. Don't answer. Okay, we're here. Sir, I think you need medical attention. I just need loot, man. Just need loot. By the way, can you believe it? I think we've got everything here. No, we haven't been here yet. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. Uh, can you believe it? I was actually uh, looking at spell break. I was actually looking at spell break the other day. Wait, no, we have been here. What am I saying? Have we? I, I think we have, right? Yeah. No. I don't know. Damn it. Three twenty. Oh, it's all there. No, wait. Which quest are we doing? We have to go. Where do we have to go next? We have to go. Um, there. Oh, we are we are right around the corner. Let's do that. Yeah, by the way, folks, uh, I'm not sure yet if I will return this evening. 
and then we probably will continue to play some Wasteland 3 if a return. Again, not sure yet. Depends on a lot of uh, factors. AKA friends. Yeah, I know. I know, I can't believe it myself what I'm saying. What are those French you're talking about? <laughs> With benefits? No. Not even in a million years. No. Nope. Believe it or not, I can actually have friends, even female friends, who are not connected to sex. I know it's crazy talk, but it's 2020 and I allow it. Uh, look at facility staff. Mostly Clarence. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I know, right? Friends with women? As a man? It's not about sex? What? Absolutely. Crazy. Absolute crazy. Where is... Wait, are we done with... Oh, there. Um... Let me see, where's this? Oh, it's down there. That's cool. Let's fast travel here. And yeah, now we are living, we are living in weird times. Like, uh... I don't know what that is. All right, let's go over there. I've oh, got some skill points. Oh, we need something to eat. Um, hacking, lock picking. Let's get lock picking up here. Even though I'm thinking about like, perchance and sway of science weapons are determined by science skill, if higher. Normally, crit chance is determined by... Yeah. I actually want this. I actually want crit damage on my science weapons. Because right now, I basically cannot crit. And, just realizing that, I need something to eat. And where is the sun coming from? Man, I, I tell you, I'm so happy that we are slowly getting to the point where... Nope. Where it's getting darker out there again. Spooky time. I'm looking forward to spooky time. Actually looking forward to play some um, like events in some of the games. Not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for in-game events when it comes to Halloween stuff. I'm always a sucker for it. Climbing the walls, anyhow. Don't look, don't look, don't look. It's okay, my body. I feel you. I feel you. I'm not happy about this either. Like, heights. Not my thing. Boop. But yeah, I'm always, always a sucker for, like, spooky in-game events. Oh. Oh. Get 
Yeah, get wrecked, son. And he's dead. It's that gym. Oh, yeah, this is kind of spooky. Oh yeah, totally. Trash. It's a me. Wait. Ooh, that is spooky. Garbage processing log. Day one. First day on the new job. I can't believe this. What a joy to be here. What a sudden and complete surprise to be promoted to head garbage processing officer. It would be nice if there were another officer here to teach me this job. But I guess he fell into the feed chute last week. Ugh. I have made a note not to do this. Day two. I'm starting by reading all available notation regarding the trash compactor. A spacer's choice believes that... I, a humble chemist, am suited to such lofty work, then I will do my best to su succeed at it. Unfortunately, the operating manual for the compactor is covered in bloodstains, which doesn't make difficult to understand. Oh my god. Day 3. Compactor was making weird noises today. I thought it was a problem with the compression chamber, so I spent most of the afternoon troubleshooting with the manual. Turns out a sprat had gotten into the hopper. Day 5. The emergency stop does not work. My arms are killing me. And my back. And let's see. Yep, my shoulders. Most of me aches. I thought this was supposed to get easier. Guess I'm not used to physical labor yet. I'm seriously considering microdosing with adrenal time. Maybe once they've gotten a few more of the kinks sorted out. Assuming the idiots are well chem lab have stopped bickering long enough to do their jobs. Day 19. What am I even doing here? I'm a chemist for law's sake. I don't know how any of this works. I'm surprised I have both arms left. Not that anyone else would ever come by to shake to notice. Day 33. I don't know why I'm bothering with the log. No one's going to read it. Well, that's not true. No one has any intention of reading it. Well, that's again not true. It's a pen and paper. They could at least pretend to give a flying fish sticks and give me a data log. This is spread shit. Day 52. Today I'm compacted a marauder's corpse into a tiny cube of meat just to see what it would look like. I should have felt disgusted, but when I looked at the end result, I didn't feel a thing. Day 76. Is this something I'm meant to do to maintain the machine? Maybe oil it or something. Day 100. What a milestone. Day 101. Made the game out of lobbing sprats into the compactor's hopper. Gave myself an extra points for the live ones. What have I become? Day 140. I wonder what it would look like to run a mentor swarm through the feed chute. What would it look like all crushed down into a tiny cube? Day 183. Got a message from the mine to come out and clean up some kind of cargo rail accident. Had to track all the way out there just to tell them I don't deal with fluids. Morons. Day 211. Here's me at my lowest. I've been picking up the most hazardous trash I can find and am saving it up to do something nasty to Clarence's place. Need to figure out which room is his. Day 231. What if I just dove in there? Law, that would hurt. Imagine how slowly and painfully it would crush my body down into juice and meat and shards of bone. Day 269. Nice. The mine crew is still after me to clean up their little accident. Like I'm not up to my ears in the garbage out here. Bodily fluids are outside my wheelhouse. Any bodily fluids from compressing organic materials are just incidental. Day 275. I'm done with this log. I'm done with everything. Maybe I'll let the garbage pile up forever. 
Maybe I pile up so high I'd spill out across the canyon and drown everything and everyone. I can only hope. <laughs> this is getting dark. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, he definitely... The pile up. Tell me about the production of Adrena Time, Dr. Ambrose. I hear Compound X is a unique challenge to work with. It's temperamental. It must be refined under tightly controlled circumstances at tremendously low temperatures. Do you compound it with anything else? Tell me more about your refining process. Our audience is conversant in the sciences, very detail oriented. So don't be afraid to get technical. Last time I met you, you spoke like a groundbreaker builder sprat. Why the sudden airs? And such specific questions. Uh oh. Does your minder know what you're up to? Does he suspect you're a spy? I. Pardon me. Oh my. Somebody tried to get, like, how to do it. The recipe. How are you doing, TDX? Good to see you. Hello, hello. I mean, this game is getting dark quite a bit sometimes. <laughs> it's not just rainbow and sunshines out here. No, most of the time it actually isn't. Look at this mess. Wow. He really just stopped. Oh, by the way, folks, um, another thing regarding the weekend now that it is Friday. I don't know yet what we are doing with weekend streams. I really I really don't know yet. Ah, oh, we can't. Damn it. Don't have the lock picking. Maybe, wait a second. Maybe when I... Um... Intimidate, light, sneak, lockpick, plus five. Do we get like anything else? Hack, determination. No. Damn it. Not enough. You're well? Ah, oh, that's good to hear. Max makes me happy. It really does. Too much, too much bullshit going on. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what we are doing over the weekend, if I stream over the weekend or, like, I don't know yet. Oh! He's dead. And he's gassing? Ugh. Yeah, not sure yet what I'm doing. Um, if I stream, where I stream. What is that gun? That gun is the I win button. Unfortunately, it's an annoying gun, but it does exactly what I say it does. Like, it's a I win button. Um, it does a lot of damage very quickly, and it controls the enemy. So. Oh. Yeah, it controls the enemy. So the enemy is then fighting for you. Or if there is nobody to fight, they're really just sitting around. So if it is one enemy, they're just sitting around. And if there are multiple enemies, they're attacking like the other, other enemies. And it's super duper strong. But it's a science weapon. So, yeah, you need science for it. Sure know how to pick them. Let's grab that comic and get. And we are doing a mad scientist playthrough. But unfortunately, yeah, that was the last one. Unfortunately, it has this annoying jingle to it. 
So, yeah, that's the downside. 30 Sharps data pad. Hey, Dr. Kim. I hope everything is all right down there in the chem lab. Waste processing ravine. I know it gets a little smelly. What with the garbage and toxic goo pits and all. So just want to make sure you are A-OK. -okay. With Virgil's blessing, I've prepared a revisit schedule outlining the remainder of the package packaging production cycle. You know that your propellant solution is blocking Virgil's completion of the package's metal casing. Uh-oh. Would you maybe able to come visit me so we can go over the timeline in the detail? I'm in the little office just outside the top level exit from HII. H A no H I A man can't miss it. Let me know. I'm here to help you. Okay. Yeah, the noise is the the downside, and it is on purpose. <laughs> it really is on purpose. So I'm using science weapon. Like all technically all science weapons are pretty much OP at a certain point. I'm thinking about fixing my blinds. Because it's shining directly into my eyes. It's like super annoying. Give me a second here. Let me fix my blinds. Fix my blinds. Let's see what I'm doing right now. Ah. ah, fixed. God, that was annoying. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, mega. Get him, girls. It's not the best choice, chat. It's not the best choice. It really isn't. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's toxic. Yeah, so, like, keep in mind, I'm a science weapon user. So when people are like, well, use the other guns, they're just not doing as much damage as um as science weapons that's the problem like my science weapons are really strong like really really strong because i'm a scientist and I have most of my points in intelligence, so... You know. Oh, 
All right, I think we killed the boss. Kind of each boss thingy, whatever that was. Big, big, big enemy. Yes, it's not the best choice, but Spacer's choice. Exactly, that's that's what it, it is saying the whole time. Well, it doesn't say Spacer, spacer choice. It just says it's not the best choice. Oh, we can now unlock the secret society. Hell yeah, man! Let's do that. Yeah, like, um, science weapons are really weak at the beginning. They really are. But when you are, like, really putting in points into science and intelligence and whatnot, they become really strong. I would say they become the strongest weapons in the game. It's just, it's, it's a bit like a Weird Science and Wasteland. Where at the beginning, like, Weird Science weapons are rare. And it's basically a wasted stat. Wait, where was that thing? Oh, it's all there. My bad. But it really really gets to the point where it becomes so strong. Just takes a while. Like I had I had some boss fights where I saw other streamers like kinda struggle with it. And with science weapons. So that wasn't really a problem at the point. True fan. Begin the true fan quiz. Question 1 out of 4. The issue 1. Plague of the Manti Man. Was the name of the Manti Mastermind. Second command. What are you about to feed in hand to cloak the man? Oh my god. I have no clean. Uh, queen. Uh, sh uh, I don't know. Caveman Jocks? Um, Isabel? I have no clue. I haven't read them. I found them kind of bad. Uh, says so King Alpha. Um, nice. Okay. Agent Half Hartman. <laughs> What? Breaking the dam and lava river. I don't, I don't have any clue. Damn it. I could I could have read this. But I don't. So we're just brute forcing this. The Space Corona Cigarette? Damn it. Uh, nice. Just took us like 20 years. No biggie. Hey, not bad for a scrappy little team. This is a fine hideout. It is. But unfortunately, they had issues too. Is that a science weapon? I think that's a new science weapon. Yes. Oh my god, so many science weapons. This is, I think, the second one we just found. Ooh. Pick up the hat? That's a melee weapon. I'm bad at melee. Oh, it's a science weapon. Lead. Ah. 
but it's a it's a melee weapon. Oh my god. I like it. I have to test it. It will probably be absolutely devastating because I'm not a melee fighter. Look at that thing. Yeah, this is a science melee weapon. Damn, man. <sighs> Unfortunately, like as I said, I do not, I'm not good at melee weapons. I'm really not. But we cannot go into the chem lab yet. So the next thing on the list is, oh, I'm not sure if I can go in here. Can I? Yeah, that's what we did. That weapon looks amazing, just saying. It's like... Bam. Oh yeah, we cannot go in here yet. Oh, people are alive. Boom. Yeah, I'm not a melee fighter. This is not going well. This would be great for my second character I'm playing, which is like a full melee... melee fighter. I mean, it worked, but... Yeah. Okay, uh, right now we have to do the main story, which is mostly harmless. Which means we have to go back and we have to actually go to another planet. Because we have to talk to somebody. Which is good. I wanted to go to my ship anyways. So this is actually perfect. It looks dangerous for science. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, first things first. We have to go to another planet. We have to go to Terra. And then I think this Captain, transmission request from Andros Manor. Oh, interesting. Pitch it through. Captain. Imagine my surprise when I saw the unreliable leaving Gorgon with so much urgency and purpose. Tell me you found Mother's journal. I'm positively dying for good news. I found a lot of shady corporate intrigue. Well, isn't that exciting? A lonely asteroid, an old research facility, and now shady corporate intrigue. And here I've just been doing the crossword. <laughs> Any promising leads on Mother's Journal? I've watched enough detective serials to know that a promising lead can get you anywhere. Are you familiar with Gorgon's old research staff? I seem to recall that Mother worked closely with Gorgon's R&D personnel. But not close enough to invite them over for dinner and cocktails, if you get my meaning. Mm. By now, they'll have moved on with their lives. If only I could do the same. Did you know that Gorgon was developing Adrena time? I knew Mother was involved with some important chemical trials, but I had no idea her pet project was Adrena time. Adrena time is a working man's stimulant, like a caffeinoid. Mm -hmm. Very popular at launch, though the marketing quieted down over time. Yeah. 
Are you aware that Adrena Time created Marauders? What? No. I mean, there's some very morbid wording in the fine print, but I had no idea Adrena Time could make Marauders out of people. That's it. That must be it. Spacer's choice is keeping their dirty little secret about Adrena Time off the record. We have to find Mother's Journal. If we don't, then Spacer's choice gets away with murder. I only hope we aren't too late. Yeah. Why would Space of Choice risk everything for a stimulant? Adrena Time was touted as the working man's best friend. A drug that boosted productivity with no adverse effects. Mm -hmm. The promise of Adrena Time cannot be overstated. Exhaustion and fatigue were supposed to be obsolete. Workplace accidents would be things of the past. For whatever reason, the drug never lived up to that promise. And now we know why. Could a one drug really do all of that? I don't know. And thanks to Spacer's choice, we may never find out. I know that I'd like to see a colony where the promise of Adrena time was fulfilled. And I doubt I'm the only one. Hmm. I should be off. Safe travels. If your leads give you any trouble, be sure and give them some trouble back, yes? Yeah, I'm still not sure what they think about her. Ta. She is. Mm, mm, as she said at the beginning, don't trust no one. Oh, we now have the uh, the comics. Oh, that's cool. I haven't been here in a while. Okay, there's our... Yeah, we definitely have to transfer some stuff. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I have here. Um, all the weapon upgrades. Do, 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 do. Don't feel the need of them. Are we a full? Wait. No, that was weird. Uh, I actually just wanted to leave the weapon upgrades behind. Even though I don't really use those weapons, so... I could just... Put them in there. And I will never use them ever again. Yep, that's how it goes. Cool. Oh yeah, that's a weird thing. Yeah. Um well. <sighs> I uh Woo. I'm so glad. <laughs> like I think we did the most interesting choice with the first area of the game. Yes, continue. Like we did we did some really interesting choice. And I'm I'm not sure if that was like I mean the game allowed it. But I still got like the loot, it's, it's so weird. Like, I still don't know, like, how this even worked. And for everyone who's wondering what I'm talking about, um, 
I will not go into details because spoilers, but we made some very interesting decisions for the very first area of the game. Man, I love this weapon. This looks so cool. I really love the art style with this and the AP. Like, it's great. This is great. No oh, points of vapor. Well, first thing, um, oh yeah, they added some new perks. Melee damage returned as health. Well, if I'm going melee, that wouldn't be too bad. Um. Oh, when you have no companions in your party, yeah. Science weapon magazine size. I mean, do we really need that? Really? 5% more damage per floor. <laughs> Nietzsche's, Nietzsche's reward. <laughs> Good old Nietzsche. Um, sure. If, if we are using a little bit of melee right now, why not? It's not like anything meaningful I need now. Oh, wait, haven't we been here before? Welcome to the Musgrave family collection. Oh, Still a Muscat. work in progress. Are you wearing a Jolliker original? <laughs> I'm impressed. Yes. I wouldn't bring a Jolliker anywhere near a Canid. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Only thing going on behind those doors is good, old-fashioned, lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Thank you for cooperating. Uh, sounds good to me. Oh, that's just so encouraging to hear. I'll just go ahead and add your comment to my permanent record. Now then, how can I help you? Oh man, you are signing NDAs everywhere. I'm looking for clearance mostly. <laughs> mostly is indeed attending our event although i am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid laplace into our competition laplace you should find mr mostly just inside the prep room head oh, inside and God. the door to your left <laughs> what's all this secrecy this place isn't exactly hard to find we find that our clients enjoy the appearance of participating in illegal activities secrecy contributes to a feeling of indecency oh, the true. musgrave family collection was intended to be a gallery of fine art and here we are using this place to practice semi-legal canid shows scandalous isn't it oh my god that is so scandalous You said this place was supposed to be an art gallery. What happened? That's privileged information. I really shouldn't tell you. But you will. Sure you can. I already agreed to his stupid confide confid confidential confidentiality. That is a word. 
That is, that is the worst word. That's a fair point. All right. I'll tell you. But just keep this between us. Guaranteed secrecy is expensive, you know. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I'll give you this little secret for free. The Musgraves own one of Earth's largest private collections of art and literature. They were going to have the entire collection shipped all the way to Halcyon. Mm. Unfortunately, that collection never arrived. That's bad. We haven't heard anything from the delivery convoy, and there's some purely hypothetical concern that the collection <laughs> might be, well... Boring. <laughs> Stolen? I was going to say indefinitely delayed by unforeseen and unknowable circumstances, but yes. Let's go with that. Anyway, that's as much as I can tell you. Will there be anything else? Uh, excuse me. Oh my, Chad. Oh my. Try saying lisp with a lisp. Yeah, we have. Uh, we are not calling it lisp. It's 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 similar. Um, it actually is very similar, and it's like why why would you do that? I, I th why would they do that to the people? Like it's like oh yeah, I can hear that myself. Thank you. I have a lisp. Yeah, I can hear that now too. Thanks. <laughs> it's like wh why would you do that? You don't have to be scared of these canids, Captain. I don't think they're gonna hurt you. Um, I'm afraid of canids. I have a phobia. Come now, Anubis. You must perk up. Is that a jolliker? <laughs> Great. I'm going to embarrass myself in front of my betters. I don't suppose you've any formal training in canid husbandry. I really am at my wit's end. It's my little Anubis, you see. He's listless and miserable. I simply don't know what to do about his condition. Oh no, that sounds... Uh, uh, horrible. Don't worry about it, he probably just hates you. What an awful thing to say! Anubis is the light of my life. I practically shower <sighs> him with luxury. You must understand, Anubis is a very picky eater. He dines exclusively on Terra 2 Saltuna, none of that rubbish from Monarch. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a shortage lately. He's so miserable without his salt tuna. I wonder what caused the um, shortage of salt tuna. <laughs> Look at that poor guy. He's tired of salt tuna. Give him a proper treat. Yes, I suppose you're right. I doubt all this excitement is doing any favors to his digestive system. I suppose I have been spoiling him with salt tuna. He could use a change of palate. Oh, I do have some limited edition Rizzo CCN 76 chocolate bars. Mm. No, are you out of your mind? No chocolate, man. Yeah, don't, don't give, like, what? Really? I had no idea. I suppose I'll just treat him to some Spectrum Violet then. <laughs> You've been a world of help. I'll leave a good word on your permanent record. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, you're murdering your dog. <laughs> yeah, so, um, instead of so tuner, let's give him chocolate. No, totally no chocolate. Okay, let's give him booze. Till they go for the throat. It's like what? <laughs> this is some fine establishment. Those wastrels and emerald veils all abandoned their work. Did you know? How Oh. 
That is a conundrum. Wait, what? Uh, Can we go in there? No, this is barred. Barred? Barred? So by the way, um, I have started two things. First, I'm watching the uh, God of High School. I like the God of High School, but also all things considered. Like, so far the story has been really bad for the God of High School. Like literally, it has been... I, I, what is that? Like, don't get me wrong, I like the fights and the action. But I'm at the moment where I'm like... Since when do you care about impropriety? Okay, so what is this about? Like, what? It's, it really seems like they're trying to, um, to build a story. But right now I'm at the point where I'm like... What is this story even? Oh, that's the dude we have to talk to. Like, it's like super, super weird. Still, the action is pretty good. Lots and lots of action. And, oh my god, can you believe it? I started to watch the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air again. I haven't, I haven't watched this show when, it, when I originally watched it on TV, like, decades ago. And, man, it is really good. That's such a good show. That is such a good show to see that again. You there, sauntering about in a Jolliger original. Do you know the interesting thing about Canid shows? Appearance mostly. I'm interested in anything involving Canids. Trick question, there isn't anything interesting about Canid shows. Oh, but there is, if one possesses an eye for statistics. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about Canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough Canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. Uh. Are you Clarence? Clarence, I know it's Clarence, but <laughs> you must be popular at parties. Oh, goodness, no, not at all. Mm. I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. That's a bit of a family joke. I'm Clarence mostly. Can we shoot him? I want to shoot him. <laughs> that name sounds familiar. Mostly fine furniture company, right? Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees, too. My grandfather invented them, you know. Mostly oak trees? Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. No, but okay. Um, I've been looking for you. Oh, <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. No. It's true. I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice. Hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. I would do that. Unfortunately, my client cannot. <laughs> Intimidate. You want to keep living in the moment? Show me how to lift the emergency lockdown. I was wondering if you were the sort of person to accept sensible advice or respond with threats of violence. Thank you for resolving that ambiguity for me. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. 
You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. Of course. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. Mm. I'm going to need a good reason. How is this for a reason? I'm really heavily armed. But go and pray that the Marauders, you can just walk away from that. Yes, the birthplace of the Marauders. And a graveyard for all our mistakes. Starting Project Gorgon was our first mistake. Trying to bury Project Gorgon while it's still very much alive and clawing its way back to the surface? That may be our last mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh... Nobody has to know that you were involved. I want a favor from you. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, we don't have to rely on mutual trust. A grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Oh. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. That sounds like a deal. What? Really? You'll do it? I mean, just like that? Don't you want to know why I asked you? Nah. <laughs> because you're insecure, you want a trophy to feel better about yourself. While you're technically correct, which is my favorite kind of correct, no, that's not why. My canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. Bar has a I shitty character Bar like you. Little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. Um. Ah. Uh, that, that might be the most Byzantium thing I've ever heard. Oh, you're much too kind. Does this mean you'll do it? <laughs> And we'll be back with the Head into trophy. the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. God, I want the to speak The maintenance this tunnel so is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it over by the podium. So. Is that her? Yeah! <gasps> My goodness! Is that a Jolliker original? Yes. If you wanted to show off, you're a little late for the Canid review. Don't stand too close to the Canids. You don't want their bladder issues all over your suit. Ew. Are you wearing a Jolliker original? No. Then don't tell me what to do. Fair enough, friend. Fair enough. <laughs> understand the rules of social engagement just as well as you. Such a dick sometimes in this game. Now you all degenerates and I hope the building collapses on you. That's a nice looking trophy you got over there. Why, thank you. It's custom made for our Canid review, which ended a few days ago. The Judiciary Committee is still deliberating over the winner. In eight to days? ten short weeks, we'll have the name of a winner. Probably. Wait. That gives us eight to ten weeks to file a maintenance request. Our technician barred the vault door and then disappeared without a trace. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Whatever happened to competent help? Now you're speaking my language. The Musgrave Vault contracted a security consultant from UDL. They sent a technician to install a few security upgrades. Anti-dissident auto-mechanicals and the like. Um. That technician barred the vault, but neglected to leave us with a way in from here. He wasn't seen leaving the security room, so I can't imagine where he's gone off to. Weird. Isn't there another way into the trophy room? What about the maintenance tunnels? The tunnels are guarded by auto-mechanical security. 
I don't look nearly boorish enough to resemble a UDL guard, so they'd probably shoot me on sight. Oh. In any case, I'd rather not step foot in the tunnels. The tunnels are for disposing of unwanted refuse, and no place for a respectable Byzantine. I can find a way into a vault for you. You won't have to dirty your hands. Your eagerness to serve your betters is commendable. Here's a key card. Nice. It should help you get around inside the tunnels. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to get back to mastering over the ceremonies, or people might question why I have this role at all. Uh, do your thing, lady. Do your thing. Let's do this. Whoop. This is the elevator song. The elevator song. The oh wow, they're giving you all the stuff here. Ooh. Easy. Um, can we upgrade our weapons here? Let's have a look. Thirty-one. 27, 28, 32. Uh, let's see if we can actually upgrade this one. Yes. Let's get this up to 32. Oh my god, this is getting expensive. Thankfully, we have some money now. This is 32, this is 31. Can we get this up to 300 damage? Yeah, okay. Eh, this is fine. Last famous words. Uh, okay, we could go this way. Oh. Uh, I think it's coming closer. I really think it's coming closer. What are we doing? Terminating security search. Murdering it. Okay. Hey, pal. Let me just murder this. Boom. Got murdered. Also a technical key card. Installation lock. Scheduled annual sanitation and repair. Musgrave family ward. Applied kinderpin scented floor wax. Nice. A priced area in accordance with Byzantium aesthetic standards. Relocated garbage. Installed anti dissident autom automechanicals in order to ensure moral and civil hygiene. Tempering with altering or otherwise disabling moral hygiene automatically and strictly prohibited under border regulations. So that was the mechanic. Yeah, and he got murdered. Well, sucks to be you, I guess. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm doing really right. I just can't believe that. Well, this is a science weapon, though, so I think it counts. Runners up. Ooh, well, hello there. Oh, you cannot do this. Blasphemy. Also, oh. Oh, this is apparently where the canines are ending up. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, he's coming closer. He's coming closer. He's coming closer. I'm not sneaky. I'm totally not sneaky. Oh. Now I understand what this weapon does. I was first thinking that 
This was a bug. But it teleports the enemies close to you. It has a teleporter on the bottom. That's what this does. Oh well, not a teleporter, but it draws the enemies in. And I just cut your beautiful face. Whoop. That's apparently a thing. Ooh, more loot. Yes, give me the loot. Loot. What do we got here? Uh, some more upgrades. Ooh, safe. Hello, safe. Plasma gun. Oh, man. Lock picking. Memo to myself. Get lock picking, you dingus. Boop. Yeah, it has like a vacuum thingy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's the trophy. And there's a save. 50 most dangerous game. Why didn't I take lock picking? You know, sometimes. I'm, I'm not sure about the dis decisions I made in my life. This is one of them. Mm-hmm. <sighs> really unexpected. All that pomp and circumstance out there. For this. What the hell's the point? Bragging rights. And... No, no. I take the back. Bragging rights. Totally bragging rights. Yeah. Just a second here. Um I've got a lot on my mind right now. Our trophy's gone missing, but I can't oh. file an investigation because what we're doing here is technically illegal. Oh, no. I found dead canines down in the tunnels. Explain. Oh, don't look so cross. Those canines were put down mercifully. Oh, I'm Not sure of that. Not every is suited to the intense competition of our review. Some few canids display flaws that cannot be redeemed. A limp. Wall eye. Poor coloration. What? I absolutely hate everything about this city. Are you getting emotional over some canids? You know we have a bartender just downstairs. Help yourself. Anyway, listen. Nature is red in tooth and claw, and so are we. Competition is practically a law of the universe. I shouldn't have to explain this to you. <laughs> Could you give me a minute? I got the strangest urge to load my gun. Go and attend to your business then. Arguing with you is a waste of time. Out of curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're all becoming like aggressive. Interesting. Huh. Funny how that works. Yeah, everyone's becoming aggressive though. <laughs> I did something similar before this and it actually actually leads to very very interesting outcomes um, like I did something similar in this game before and I didn't reload and again like It's it's a very very interesting thing. All right.
Now let's talk to you. Jolliker's outfits have been linked to a 12% increase in mild to moderate neck injuries as a result of so many heads turning. Nah. I got your trophy. My trophy? Look at this thing. Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mostly were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. Well, work is a statistical anomaly in this town. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. Use statistical analysis to figure out their location. Show me your math. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. Wait, they're both dead. Just wait for it. Try to exercise caution. It's good for your lifespan. I would love to murder this too. Ah, oh, Clarence, are you looking out for me? You did fetch a trophy for my little applause. Technically, that makes you my canid servant. And I will murder you. And my transitive property of employment, my responsibility. I will murder you so hard. Wow. No need to sound so astonished. Now, was there anything else? So I found this eye. My eye! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. So... How did you lose your eye? I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. <laughs> Yikes. You take it back. I don't want this thing in my pocket. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. Nice. Because that gave us a lot of extra XP, even though I hate this dude with my guns. It, it is XP. And the reputation with the board has increased. How am I looking here? Uh, hey, we are now agreeable with the board. It's kind of funny because I m murdered the board. Oh, well. Sorry, I want that on 150. It's a sign playthrough, what can I do? Don't look at me like that. Twice the speed, half the price. Adrena time. Yeah. Um, we have to leave, right? 
Like where where do we have to go to? The clockwork warm apple. Oh boy, this is bigger than I actually expected. Let's go to this one first. That's crazy. Where are we? Oh, we are right here. Okay. Yeah, this DLC is becoming bigger than I expected. Like, I actually believe that at this point we would nearly be done by with it. Well, that is totally not the case, which makes me happy. This is a long elevator. Elevator. Um, what was the this one, right? No. No, I think that's the right one. I think that's the right one. Yes. All right, let's get out of here. Whoop. But yeah, I wonder how long the DLC is. Like we're already on it for like five or six hours. Um, uh, we have to go to Olympus and the Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Yeah, this is new. Well, that's cool, man. Hell yeah, we did. Good luck, Captain. Oh. Well, you were just taking a nap, right? You're not dead. What happened to these poor folks? It can't be the storm that did this. No. No. Those are explosions. And no. Pretty sure that's not a storm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a weather expert. But I'm pretty sure that's not what a storm is doing. Uh, what can we read? Reception log. Present. What happened today? Outside, first word, something fierce about all the lightning strikes. Turns out no longer need. Sometimes when I look over the ledge, I think about what it would feel like. Maybe simply to forward, to plummet with all those clouds kissing my face. To fall away from the storm. To smile, then break. Damn. Why is everyone like at the brink of just killing themselves? Man. That's so pressing and dark. Ooh. Nope. Thought it won't attack me. What's wrong? I have enough food right now. Like, not gonna lie. Speaking of which, I need to eat something. I have enough food. Ooh. Oh, hello, secret. I love secrets. So the robots started to murder them. Is that what happened?
Yeah, by the way, I looked at the uh, spell break a bit. And man, spell break looks so fun. But unfortunately. Ow. A second, another BR. Okay. Yeah, it looks really, really fun, but it's like another BR game, and as you know, like, I'm... Uh, I just can't with BR games. I just... It's like everything about this game looks fun, besides of you're flying in, and you're looking for loot. Which is like... What a BR game is. I just just can't. Which sucks. Okay. All right. The sooner we're back on solid dirt, the better. Damn, what happened here? They definitely all got murdered. Boop. That didn't do jack shit. No, actually. But yeah, maybe maybe I'm playing some spell break off stream. Just to see like how I feel about it. Or maybe I'm playing it over the weekend. do that because again like it actually looks really fun yes I know there was a computer there I am aware oh what is this hex 65 oh well wait I don't have hex 65 what? Um. Wait, that was engineering, right? Uh... No, that's in the stealth. Yeah, and I'm at sixty. Damn it. Uh, do we have anything for hacking? Pretty sure we have anything for hacking here, right? Sneak! No, that's sneak. Wait, is that it? No. Thought so. Sneak is sneak. Uh, okay, this is becoming a little bit awkward. I think. I ah, there it is. I, I knew I had an item. Please ensure all human resources have been properly disposed of anti chlorous biocycle containment units. And Team Shaw sure have to close down the recycle functional equipment within the next 90 days. Wow. Damn. So somebody betrayed them. Uh, 
Oh, I hope that's oil. Probably not. Storm cannon? What the heck is that? Is that another science weapon? The storm cannon. Ooh. Ooh. Let's test that one out. Oh, it's like an electrical shock weapon. Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, I think I would give that to... Let me see, to Nioka? Pavali? Uh, let's give that to Nioka. Alright. Folks, as much as I would love to continue this, I have to go to the toilet super quickly. I will be back in just like two or three minutes. But I really, really have to go to the toilet because, man, I will be back in just like a few minutes. See you then.
All right, I'm back. Sorry for keep you waiting. Let's play some more video games, shall we? Yes, and continue. The perils of. Um, we've checked out all of this area. Apparently, we're good here. Uh, oh, central lab. Yeah, that seems to be. That seems to be the path. We'll go there in just a second. Just want to make sure we got everything in here. If we... Ooh. It's probably where you can go through when you uh, use the main lab entrance. Interesting. Let's sneak around a bit. Yeah, there are definitely enemies in here. That's, damn it. Gosh darn it. Uh, drafts. Scam. Subject venting. Do not send. Fix the protocol. Incoming messages. Okay. Nothing, nothing important here. Yeah, I know I'm ignoring a bit the um the stuff they're writing about. They didn't even notice me. Okay, there's one other combat drone over there. Oh, big guy. Oh, you know what? I think we're doing it the old days. Go get him. Oh boy. Got him. Funny. Oh, somebody is still alive. Oh, that's interesting. Who would have thought? I didn't. I thought they would all be dead by now. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? storage and probably some um, yeah some other path around oh 
Hello there. Um, if you don't mind, I'm stealing all your stuff here. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest here. What are you gonna do? Scream at me. Hi. Auntie, have mercy. How'd you get in here? Are you from outside? Yeah. How is that even possible? Law, help me. I must be losing my wits. <laughs> well, not no. Hey, take it easy. I saw what happened out here. I didn't have any friends here, but that don't mean I wanted to see heartless auto mechanicals rip everyone to shreds. Uh, nobody does, I know probably. It sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke Yikes. out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? I tell you, like, everyone is, like, super suicidal in this game. It's, like, crazy. Um, I got a ship. Need to lift out of here. Do I ever. Drop me off on the Groundbreaker, and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Cool. I have questions. Um, who are you? I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire. Because no one comes here. Oh. Not ever. Not since all the station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. Hmm. How do you get your supplies then? Don't you need all switch personnel? Projects on a yearly rotation cycle. Once a year, Anticleo reviews our work and decides if we get more rations, personnel, deadlines, that sort of thing. Uh. At first, I thought it was an honor getting assigned to a lab up in the ether high above Olympus. But I didn't know what it'd be like day in and day out. Man, the corporation's really shitty in this game. Like, absolutely shitty. <laughs> How did you not lose your mind? I ask myself that question a lot, and then I realize I'm talking to myself. Oh. Cabin fever sets in at about 90 days. Auntie Cleo's official term is contagious irritable claustrophobia, and it ain't covered by the company's medical policy. Of course not. <laughs> I bet. After a while, you start imagining things, unhealthy things, like... What might happen if you triggered pink slip protocol? I did try once or twice, but wasn't ever successful. Now I'm glad. Damn. I never did ask why you were here. Um, professional storm chaser. I'm looking for Dr. Jasper below. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the Automex, too. How did you actually manage it? Watch yourself out there. If it's all the same to you, I'll just sneak my way onto your ship where it's safe. Sure. Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, uh, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Get, get some self-respect, girl. Like, come on. Uh, everyone in this game. Oh, we are back here. Oh. I mean, they're trained not to have self-respect, so... Definitely not self-esteem. Give me just a second. All right. Where did I put the? Oh wait, I almost forgot the gate is dead. That's good, actually. Hi. I talk to you in a minute. Let me just loot everything in here. Uh, 
and then we are good to talk, I guess. Eh. Not worth it. It's not good to me, no. Hi! Uh, 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 shush. We're talking. Concentrating. Damn it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. Are you right? You're rambling. Am I rambling? That's somewhat concerning, but not necessarily unexpected. Logoria is a well-documented side effect of withdrawal. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? A lot of guns. A lot of guns. I... I was going to ask you the same thing. What happened here? All sorts of things. Science, mainly. A little bit of research. If you're talking about all the dead bodies, that'd be the pink slip protocol. Right. That answers that. Next question. Do you come bearing fresh pharmaceuticals? Hey, I'm sorry about your friends, but more doses ain't gonna help. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. Um... Sorry, only got stale drugs on me. Ugh, stale drugs. Well, what's one more disappointment anyway? <sighs> I need you to tell me what is going on here. Auntie Cleo instituted the pink slip protocol. Fancy marketing term that translates to we're not satisfied with the quality of your work, so we're revoking your lifetime contracts. Oh. Can you believe Auntie terminated my entire team? It's a terrible setback. Yeah, especially for the for people who got terminated. Time. Literally. I'll continue the work on my own if need be. What do you mean this time? And why did Auntie Cleo terminate your entire team? Ah, right. How do I put this? This is not the first time I've lost a research team to corporate mismanagement. It's the second. Auntie had been threatening to instigate Pink Slip Protocol for months, though I honestly didn't think they'd have the stones to do it. I was on the verge of giving Auntie the results she wanted. Well, almost on the verge. Approaching the verge. The point is, I didn't think this would happen. I mean... Yeah, because they... Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me because you were owned by corporates, right? Like, they are owning you. Like, you were being born into a corporation and when they are firing you, it's like, yeah, you were dead. We didn't need you anymore. It's not clear. What did you expect? Bureaucratic procrastination and some incompetent saber-rattling. Before I was traded, I worked on Project Gorgon. I lost that team by attrition. Management turned the screw on my team. Forced me to fire one in ten researchers. The few of us that remained were overworked and exhausted. We didn't have much of a security detail. I don't know how the primals got loose, but my team didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. I know, Lawrence Goodfellow gave the order to downsize your team. You've done your research. Yes. The unfortunately named Mr. Goodfellow decided his ego was more important than our research. We were designing a drug the likes of which Halcyon had never seen. A veritable panacea that cured lethargy and guaranteed a lifetime of productivity. Hey! I was overwhelmed, overworked, frustrated. 
forced to submit unfinished samples, failing to meet impossible deadlines. Drugs to work indefinitely. Woo! I started self-medicating to enable my genius to perform at a greater capacity. To forget. To endure. To feel nothing. Project Gorgon was in its final days when the Primals attacked our lab. It wasn't long until Spacer's Choice authorized my transfer to this facility. Wait, you were traded to Auntie Cleo. Does that sort of thing happen often? Not at all. Such an event is incredibly rare. Yeah. Few workers understand the truth of their value to society. Me? I'm worth five measly lab coats. Maybe when you are not high. Especially when I'm high. <laughs> Why did you have primates in your lab? Were you experimenting with them? Human inquiry was supposed to be responsible for testing adrenatime. Under normal circumstances, the chem lab wouldn't have had to perform live tests. But creative incubation pressured my team with impossible deadlines. The prototypes we delivered to Dr. Blakesley at Human Inquiry were poor because we were rushed. I had to mm. begin experimenting on my own. I had to perform my own tests, so I used primals. They're not the best choice for tests of no. but I was working for Spacer's Choice. That was seriously reckless. Whoever reached greatness by coloring within the lines. And besides, my lines often move around on the page. My point is, I was doing my job. I was doing science. I will continue to do so until my mind or my body expires. What exactly does Auntie Cleo have you working on? Auntie Cleo wants us to develop Anthracillin Plus, a new and improved version of the original Anthracillin formula. And what Auntie wants, Auntie gets. Eventually. <laughs> I was making considerable progress. I can't possibly fathom why they prematurely terminated the project. Oh, wow. Jesper, everyone's dead. There's no use lying. I'm not lying. I'm carefully curating the truth for you. <laughs> All right, listen. Auntie needs to be patient. I'll eventually get around to developing Anthracillin Plus. My priority right now is sky high. Once I perfect my formula... I mean, he I'll is sky high. ...my mind functioning at peak performance without any pesky distractions. Like, feelings. Ew. Feelings. Ew. I need to get inside the chem lab on Gorgon. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. You've been there the chem and... Lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything nope. there but the dead. Sounds familiar. Somebody's been wanting me to stay off Gorgon. Well, it wasn't me. I've been stuck in this place for ages. In Makes sense. Case, it's becoming obvious you're not listening to sensible warnings. Nope. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. Dude, I the saved your ass. The turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. Your colleagues are dead, Jesper. Don't you think it's time to quit? Not that it's any of your business, but I don't get to quit. My colleagues are dead, and yet I live. So I don't get to quit. Mm. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. I'll be back. Well, some of these, uh, what do they call them? A workaholic. Or oh, horrible determined. Oh my. Oh my. Oh wow, we are in the middle of the storm, basically. 
That's cool. Son of a town. Is there a single planet in this fucking colony that ain't trying to kill us? I take the bag, that's not cool. <laughs> like I don't I don't mind storms, but that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Okay, yeah, there's the big guy. Can I? They'll never see us. Wait. Oh boy. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. I should have ate something before that. Yeah. Okay, this was all dumb. I actually wanted to hack him. And then I yeah, yeah, that was that was that was dumb. That was on me. That was on me. My bad. Also, let's check out this area. Oh my, I'm well, glad that I died. I apparently missed out on things. Huh. Will you look at that? Yeah, I should have ate something and I wanted to hack him. So let's eat something very quickly. Because my dude was clearly hungry. Son of a town. Is there a single planet in this fucking colony that ain't trying to kill us? Nope. Want us all dead. See if we can hack him. That would be so convenient. Boom. How long does that... Oh, that didn't do much. Get him! That didn't do much. Get him. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, nice bug. Oh, wow, wow, whoa. Do you have shock mods? Nope. I'm normally not fighting robots.
corrosive weakness. Eh, eh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, normally I, I'm not fighting a lot of robots, so it's okay. It's okay. I think the biggest problem I just have are the heights. Like, I'm also... Oh, boy. How did... How were you not active? Oh. <laughs> I love that she's falling through the ground. I don't know what that is, but... Nice, nice. Yeah, they are not like a lot of robots who are actually fighting in this game, so I always feel like it's um It's a bit of a waste. Man, I mean, it kind of works because she is still like shooting the enemies, so it's actually not like I'm losing out on anything, it's just hilarious. They all have loot I don't really need anymore. Nice. Another Halcyon problem. Another massive fuck off is being assault. There's the shock cannon. We could have utilized. All things considered. Oh, we could have just deactivated the turrets. Oh, well. Hey, by the way, folks, um, I will upload um, when we are done here. I will definitely upload. Ooh. Uh, the outer worlds and then I still have to upload like a lot of wasteland I have to I have to upload like a lot of videos when <laughs> 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 I think uh, I think she did fall through the planet. <laughs> uh. The facilities back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. Oh boy. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. It's done. Now get me inside the chem lab. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. Oh. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. 
I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. Oh, if you end up so dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Um. Have some adrenal time if you want it. it. Has a stronger effect than your sky high mix. Oh no, not even I would risk such usage. That stuff will eventually steal everything from you that makes you who you are. I might want to lose my recollections and feelings, but never my intellect. Oh. If you'll excuse me, my experiments cry out for my attention. <sighs> What's the draft message on your office terminal all about? Snoop through my things. Yes. You just admit it to me. You do have gall, I'll give you that. Look, I keep a draft on my terminal where I vent my occasional frustrations with upper management. It's honestly one of my less detrimental coping methods. No. As I am not stupid enough to fill out the name in the address field. Cool. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Well, kind of. Yeah, that must be a tremendous gun. Let's see what the... Oh, it's a science gun. Man, this expansion is giving you all the science. Oh, I didn't hit the right. What is this? Monte Cleo. Man, I have to test this. Yeah, this, this game, like, this update in particular has a crazy amount of... Um, of science guns. What? Oh, it's like a laser or something? Interesting. Yeah, it's kinda it's kinda crazy. Um Is she falling again? Somebody was falling again. I don't know what this is yet. Oh shit. Oh. There we go. All right. Yeah, I don't know what this weapon is. We have to test that out. I mean, we have to go to the next thing. Uh, which is... No, we're not going to Gorgon yet. Um, we actually have to go to... The Groundbreaker. <laughs> nope. Okay, first we have to go to the docking base because we have to turn in the. Um... Let's go to the auxiliary maintenance bay. Yum. Captain, an unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals a cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Their intentions are no longer unknown. Oh. Says report. Unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. I'm not sure if please is the... What? Finally, some action. I'm gonna get my guns. Captain Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. Wait, our airlock has a death trap installed? Ada, you need to tell me these things. I understand. Allow me to rectify my oversight. Captain? Please be informed that our airlock has a death trap installed. Uh, the great. ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. 
The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. Let me know I'm flat up, but I wish they bought me dinner first. That is unlikely. <laughs> Judging by the state of the invading ship and the competence of the boarding party, I deduce they are incapable of paying for dinner. The oh. ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. If you oh my. prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. Hmm. Eh. Understood, Captain. I, I deal with them. Deploying the unreliable's lethal deterrent system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. I will. Let's get some murder here. Hey, folks. Could kill us all. Yeah. What the heck? Well, they are all toast now. Yeah. They are all toast. They are so toast. Awesome. <laughs> They're all toasty. Mmm, so toasty. Oh, wait, what is this doing? Oh, it's a healing item. Oh. That's interesting. Huh. That's super interesting. Not that I will use that ever. But. Who? Oh. I mean. Huh. What's in the guess? Yeah, this game is not really like... There is no supporter class in this game. Like it's... Yeah, you you can support a little bit your team. But it has never been viable in any shape or form. Like you have to... You basically have to go like... What is it? Medical? Science, inspiration, and determination. Like, you have to go, like, full-on leadership, and then you have to get, like, the right perks. So it's it's a very specific weapon. Uh, interesting. Can we deactivate this? No, it doesn't seem like it. It's unfortunate. Yeah, employee benefits. True. Yeah, it's for a very specific... Um, very specific playstyle. So, this one will not do. I'm afraid. Not for my playstyle, at least.
Wait, where is he? Suppressing fire! Oh, I'm nearly dead. I mean, if they're not robots, that weapon is doing the murder. And I'm not even a melee fighter, which is like, very interesting. Another music box. Interesting. Aww. Oh, true key card. Hello? Room service, hello? I'm here to murder you. Meh. Don't try. Maybe we are lucky. Oh. Oh. Kind of funny that we are stealing all of this. Wait. Is this the dude who called us? I th think this might be the dude who actually like... Yes sir, madam, this automated message, please inform discontinued in this commission. Firefly of the Firefly Freeboot or transport team. Uh, okay. I think he looks like the dude who actually like messaged us. You know, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping you'd play by the rules. We could have had a good old fashioned boarding. Now I mean, we boarded you. My office, muddy and tracks all over my floor. A little respect for the ship. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> have you? Met me? I've never respected anybody's personal space. I haven't met you, Alex Hawthorne, but I know a thing or two about you. Well, I'm not Alex the Hawthorne. Of the unreliable. You dropped out of the sky in Emerald Vale, and whatever you've been doing on Gorgon, you've upset my employer. You and I are in a bit of a situation. I don't yeah, you're the only survivor. Unless you're dead, and a man's got to make a living. You understand, dude. I understand you want to do walk away alive. Let's talk terms. Well, it's not like I've got much of a choice here. If you're willing to be reasonable, I'm willing to put away the coach persona. Oh. Who sent you? And what do you want? My team and I were contracted to apprehend the unreliable, eliminate its crew, and dispose of the captain. I couldn't tell you who hired me even if I wanted to. The contract's anonymous. No names, no faces, just money and a target. I can't turn down a job like that, you understand. Yes, because I'm a recruiter. Groundbreaker puts in a tossball team together. <laughs> Sly. You're a recruiter? Good law, why didn't you lead with that? If you're willing to recommend me to Groundbreaker, I'm willing to forget I ever had a contract on you. What do you say? Sure.
If you're willing to forget, I probably shot some of your players. Collateral damage. They were always expendable. Honestly, don't give it a second thought. <laughs> I appreciate you putting in a good word for me. You mm -hmm. don't know how long I've been wanting to play professional tossball again. I'll keep my ship clear of yours. You and I will never cross orbits again. That's what I like to hear. I got no reason to come after you. Use my credentials to get inside the cockpit and take our tracking device. Nice. Our astrogation terminal was tracking your ship. Don't ask me how. Never had much luck with computing devices myself. And what are you going to tell your employer? The truth. We never caught up to the unreliable. You vanished somewhere into the void. Astrogator never picked up your location again. Ooh. I don't have to murder you. Well, look, it was all business. All happens to us. And sometimes business turns out to be, well, you know, terminated. And then you make new business terms and... It all happens. Can we jump here? Yes. It's all in good business faith. No hard feelings. Uh, oh. I take you. Uh, tracking device. Remove tracking device. Commission. Okay. Yeah. No. I don't have to kill them. I could. But eh. They're more useful. Uh, useful that way. Hey, boss. I've been thinking. Phoenix, no, not this playthrough. Welcome back, Captain. I understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to depart? Let's get Understood, get going. Captain. Resuming our course. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh. Sillery docking. Nope. Stay out. Uh, totally not spooky at all. Love the music. This is kind of spooky. I like this. And it's so spooky. That we have to continue this next time.